Now for now we don't marry. And now they go do quickie for our side. They go dagger people wife. I don't know how married man. But they go dagger people wife. And you know go use condom. You go use. You are someone mean now. Another case don't come outside again. <laughs> All this one will return and say, all your children, even your dog, go do DNA. Your cat, your fan, anything, do DNA. Even your own self, self do DNA. Because, <laughs> this very girl, what they see for my back, so. <laughs> A mama born, I give one man. Now, the case, the grana. The case, na long case. They say the woman don't marry before you and your husband can get quanta, he can come out from there. Because they go Lagos Barak, like that there. He take meet one general, what they call Mohammed Ali Guso. And the general be this. I know you are not going to do it. I'm 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 not these guys, they're born and I saw the mama tramp. Poor Abraka go give a grandma. Grandma, I call the OPK. Mama, na, they jump up and down like cricket. As the girl, they grow, come not be small hair until you wait up big. Now, nah, mama got it and say, not be this place where your mother they show you be your pa. Oh. Your pa, now nah, like this, like this. So, now nah, then they care, call the do investigation. The mama friends, they call the ask them. Now, nah, then they call the and say, now, nah, go so. Tell you, maybe papa. The girl don't go meet Guso now. Oh, yeah, now I'm a bubble now because if you see there are two, one minute, now see the way they resemble. Come, make we go do DNA for us to know if you not be my pa because time they go. Nah, nah, Guso now they, they turn like a miracle. As is a turn, but they use people to the pursue the girl. Maybe they go, ah, make you not bless you. No, let me what they talk and more lead the girl called talk now because if you know the man. Tell her, I say this case is a, <coughs> it's a criminal case, and I'm taking this thing to international level. My client, we will talk, we 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 talk, I was born 20th May 1985. I was always taken to the yeah, Ikeja Barak and Dodan Barak to meet him. I don't know what transpired between him and my mom, but somehow I noticed that I was abandoned in Delta State, Abraka to be precise, eight months after I was born, where I grew up in a very harsh condition. I went through child labor. I went through uh, starvation. I went through rape. Life has been tough for me. When I discovered four years ago that Guso is my biological father, I've been trying to reach out to him. I have done a lot of things. I've sent some northern elders to him. I have gone to his house in Asokoro. I went to drop letters in his offices here in Kaduna and even his home. They won't let me see him. Then I went to his house in Asokoro. They won't still let me see him. The last time I went, there was a time I went there. After a lot of fasting and prayer, I passed out. They accused me of suicide. I was taken to Asuko Regional Hospital, after which they said I should go to Cairo General Hospital for treatment and all of that. Then, long story short, I went there again during this fasting period on 30th, to be precise, 30th of last month. I was thinking that his fasting period, he would attend to me, but instead, his aid fought me. They injured my eyes. My eyes was bleeding, and I was really down. I was taken to one first village police post, the village uh, the head that said I should be taken back to him. That this is a family matter. If I'm saying he's my father, he should come out and address the issue. Why won't he see me? Why won't he address the matter? Then they called their friend in Ka uh, Asoko Regional in um, Asoko Police Station, one Kalu. Kalu took me into their van in um, into their hilos in AYA and he took me to Asoko, Asoko Police Station. Getting the DPU insisted that they take me to the hospital because I was bleeding and my eye I was bleeding. I got to the hospital. They won't let the Gusos aide won't let the doctor examine me alone. Even when we went to the consulting room, he was still coming to call the doctor. There was a time the doctor went left with him for twenty minutes. By the time she came back, she wrote this report. I wasn't treated, and we went back to the station. I didn't even know that this was what she wrote. By the time we went back, accusing him, saying that I attempted suicide, accusing me of mental insanity and all of that. So by the time we got to the hospital we got to the station 
Asoko uh, police uh, DPO drove me out of the station. This was 12.30. My eyes was bleeding. I stayed there the next day. The next day, I got a lawyer. Then the DPO gave him this report. When I saw it, I didn't say anything. I said, okay, no problem. I came to biological hospital. I subjected myself. My eyes was not treated. The doctor lied that my eyes was treated. I subjected myself to medical evaluation in biological hospital where I was treated and all of that. And now the doctor has brought out this report the hospital brought out this report saying that i am psychologically insane i am okay what i all i want from my father is kuso come out and address this matter you are my biological father you can't leave me to suffer all this life you can't i can't i, I can't answer a name that is not my name come out and address this matter i am what i am calling on paternity court i'm calling on the whole world to help me look at this matter those that were in uk that can't remember when this thing happened you guys knew when my mother was taking me there my mother's name is justina obedience eddie i was born 20th May 1985 please i'm calling on the president of retired generals magoro look into this matter you all carried me as a baby you all carried me as a child i'm calling on all those that served with guso all is set that knew when I was born, that knew, that know this matter. You know my history more than I do know, I know my history. Please, look into this matter for me. I was beaten, I've been threatened that military MIA will deal with me if I, if I come out, if I talk. Right now my life is in danger. All because I want my, I want my biological father to come out and own up. I don't know what transfer between you and my mom. All because I am saying, come and do paternity, come and do DNA if you say, if you are saying I'm not your father, I'm not your child. If I'm your child, tell me what happened. I'm not going to answer. I'm st uh, stop answering a name that is not my name. You can't, you can't just push me away like that. See, I was beaten. My eyes were swollen and all of that. Please, I am calling on the world to so look into this matter. Try, try to life every day. Different kind of talk up to the extent that they almost blind my eyes. Please, I'm calling on the world. Help me. Those are new when I was born. Help me. President of Italian Generals, help me. I'm dying here. I was raped at the age of 15. Had a son at 16 and he died. Because he, after six months, because he was sick. And I didn't, he was stooling and he was shitting blood and vomiting. I didn't have 2,000 naira to take him to the hospital. General Hospital, Obiaro, could I was serving, Abraka and all those asses were on strike. A cool hospital, I needed 2,000 and nobody in my mother's family, nobody could give me 2,000 to take my son to the hospital. My son died in a very traumatic, agonizing way. I cannot emphasize the suffering I went through. If not for Guy and Gina Guy Otobu, former permanent secretary of Ministry of Works, I wouldn't have gone to school. He gave me scholarship. I did a holiday job at Edens and Edens Construction Company, owned by engineer Onya GK. Those are the people that supported me. Even after my university, I worked at Oraya at Lasco Shipping Company, number 22 Oraya, Papa. I have been hardworking, I have been suffering all my life. When I discovered that this is my biological father, all I'm asking for is the love, care, and support of a father. Come, let's do DNA. Come, let's address this matter. For the offer, since over four years now, I've been reaching out to Guzo. But all I get is insults, beating. They accuse me of being mentally insane. They accuse me of suicide, which, was, which are not true. Please, the world, come to my aid. Everybody, come to my aid. I am tired. Now they've been threatening me. They've been saying a lot of things. That they will send me to a Naya, be a after me. They will kill me. Different kind of talk. Please, let the world come to my aid. I did nothing wrong. I didn't ask to be born. Woman, so if you know what is good for you, call carry your picking or call do the DNA. If not, so if this the entire international criminal court, oh, parana, ICC, international criminal. Oh, no, this is a good line. Oh, no, 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 this is a big case. <laughs> this is a big case. So if this man, I have a part, tell her to come and do because they see the, they see the identical baby. Oh, no, 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 they resemble. Mona, tell her, make her do the DNA because, you understand? And, if na true say na you born na oh god eh me be okay for you born picky feel you call liver for us na we call the tray your picky for data state you know how this guy they shop this case na big case so don't go straight to the news no time